Well, the chance for wet paws really climbs as we get into the end of the work week. We've been giving you the first alert to another round of rain on Friday. It's expected to be heaviest in the morning. But some good news to pass along here as we get into the weekend is that things will actually be improving a bit. So uh, while we are still dealing with rain and we certainly do not need any more rain, uh, we will see some improvements as we get into Saturday and Sunday. Here's first alert futurecast tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock in the morning. This warm front approaching scattered rain showers. While tomorrow is not a washout, we do expect it to be wetter than today and we certainly keep the clouds around too. Rain intensity will ramp up overnight tomorrow and into the morning hours on Friday. And right around daybreak on Friday, as the cold front swings through, we could even hear some rumbles of thunder in the mix. Wind gusts will be whipping out of the south. And after the front passes through, we do expect at least some partial clearing as we get into the afternoon and especially into the weekend. So far this month, just shy of two inches of rain or the liquid equivalent of anything frozen for the Hartford area. If we go back to the year, the start of the year, over 20 inches so far. And uh, this, of course, is following up what was a very wet summer and fall for us. So soils are saturated. Another one to two inches of rain renews the risk of poor drainage flooding. Not only that, but we're talking wind gusts 40 miles an hour and up on Friday morning. Morning, ponding on the roadways, low visibility, and also given the southerly wind direction during the high tide cycle on Friday morning, we could see some minor flooding along the 95 corridor. So uh, coastal flood advisories have been issued for the entire Connecticut shoreline. Again, that's for the Friday morning high tide cycle. Look at the wind gusts here ramping up through the afternoon and evening tomorrow, peaking at and above 40 miles an hour early on Friday morning before subsiding a bit Friday afternoon. Here's first alert live radar right now. Things are dry. Connecticut's only live Doppler radar are really not showing much of anything in our state. We have seen showers again miss us to the north. We saw some uh, shower activity across northwestern Connecticut earlier, but the bulk of it missed us. Now we're watching our low really take shape here as it works its way up the Mississippi River, and this is going to be the focal point for our rain beginning tomorrow and especially on Friday. Here's a live look at our eye cam in uh, Rocky Hill looking north of the Hartford skyline. Decent visibility out there for now. Here's a live look at our eye cam in Old Saybrook, but with uh, wind off the water, we'll likely see some fog develop tonight. Unseasonably mild out there. Temps in the mid and upper 40s, inland low 50s along the shoreline. Tomorrow, we'll watch temperatures climb back up into the low 60s inland, upper 50s along the shoreline. And again, some scattered rain showers, certainly not a washout. The heaviest rain arrives for Friday morning with a brief spike Friday afternoon back up into the 60s before temperatures drop thereafter. Now, Saturday for the Victory Parade in Hartford for Yukon, if you're heading there, it'll be breezy. Temperatures will be in the lower 50s, but it may feel more like the 40s given the breeze, but we will be dry so you can leave the rain gear at home. And then on Sunday, we start the day off dry. There's a chance for showers, especially later in the day, with temperatures back in the 60 to 65 degree range. Warming up even more Monday by Tuesday, upper 60s, low 70s, 70 to 75 next Wednesday. And there's your first alert to get another chance for some showers. It's worth noting that for the Hartford area, our average high doesn't even go till, uh, to 60 until April 14th, 70 is May 8th. Allergens, pollen counts very high through the rest of the week and into the weekend. And Mark, given the drier start to next week, we can expect those numbers to stay high then too.